Okay, so uh, I'm going to refelt another cartridge now. So tools we need, obviously the cartridge, pen with a bit of rubber on the end, scalpel, pair of tweezers, and some uh, felts cut to the size. Uh, these are luckily enough I managed to secure quite a lot of ready-made ones a while ago, which is good because I've got quite a box of uh, cartridges here. That I'm going to do now. Um, it is really vitally refelt them because I haven't opened this cartridge, but I bet you any money there's going to be a felt problem. If it hasn't fallen off already and is inside, do a good tap. It's going to fall off. I can actually see it's already looking pretty rough in there. So all you've got to do is uh, take a pen, use the rubber nicely, just let the cartridge come. It should... That's quite jammed. And if we wind it back and forth... There you go. It's running freely now, so we should be able to flip it out. As you can see, that does not look healthy, that felt. But, uh, it doesn't take much of an effort, I suspect, probably, to, uh, to get it to go. Uh, it's disintegrating completely. It will go inside the cartridge and completely destroy it. So never use a microdrive cartridge without checking this. If uh, it's gonna, It can also jam up and gum up the heads on the microdrive itself, needing it to be redone. That one came off fairly cleanly, sometimes a little bit of a degree on mark on the cartridge. Uh, the metal work, try not to pounce it out because it's going to be uh, a bit hard to sort out. We need to get all this gunk off, I sometimes use a bit of isopropyl as well, but this is actually coming off quite nicely. Let's get rid of the sticky stuff which will cause us a problem. And uh, make sure there's nothing on the metal work at all that's going to interfere with the new no, it's nice. and don't press too hard because the, the spring will be damaged. There we go. So now hopefully we take one of our uh, ready-made uh, bits of felt. And we need to remove the, uh, the backing paper. Okay, it's gone. Excellent. Then we can Make sure you get it squared on the metal work because once it sticks, it sticks straight away. The glue is really quite effective. There you go. And then all we're going to do is wind the, uh, the tape back in again. Okay, so that's running alright, hopefully. Find actually the best way then is to actually put it in the drive just to get a nice bit of pressure on the felt to stick it in. Uh, we'll see if we're lucky. We'll just do a catalogue. And whoa, straight off. Lovely. Uh, obviously, what's on this cartridge for probably, uh, well, since 1983, probably. Okay, and we've got a nice list of little pictures. Data 40, uh, one block spare, by looks of it, or one K spare on it. Excellent. There we go. Let's start exploring.